Paris is the city of great lovers, great courtesans. Madame Pompadour, Madame du Berry, Josephine and Napoleon Bonaparte, Georges Sand, Mata Ari, Léon de Pougy, Anais Nin, and perhaps, peut-être, even Carla Bruni. <laughs> in Paris, the sins of the flesh are celebrated, indeed necessary. In Paris, it is necessarily so. Now, Janet Flanner, Parisian correspondent for the New Yorker magazine, wrote this about African-American entertainer Josephine Baker and the incredible impact she created in Paris in the 20s. A scream of salutation spread throughout the theatre in the capital of hedonism of all Europe, Paris. Within a half hour of final curtain on opening night, the news and meaning of Josephine Baker's arrival had spread by the grapevine up to the cafes on the Champs-Élysées. She made her entry nude, except for a pink flamingo feather between her limbs. <laughs> she was being carried upside down and doing the split on the shoulders of a black giant. Mid-stage, he paused, and with his long fingers holding her basket-wise around the waist, swung her in a slow cartwheel to the stage floor, where she stood like his magnificent discarded burden in an instant of complete silence. She was an unforgettable female ebony statue that proved to the world for the first time that black was beautiful. <laughs>